Hey folks, every once in a while we do a podcast which leads to another investigation. And this revolves around an alleged reward offered by the FBI to find Bigfoot in Texas. Let's take a look. So this story broke on June 23rd, 2017, Round Rock, Texas. Round Rock Police Chief Banks received an official email from the FBI informing him and the Round Rock community that they may that they have added Bigfoot to the 10 most wanted fugitive list. The FBI posted the following poster throughout the city and is offering a reward of up to $500,000 for information leading directly to the arrest of the individual. Anyone that sees any activity in Round Rock parks, pools, or trails, or other unexplained phenomenon, tag Round Rock Parks and Recreation Department on Facebook. Wait, wait, wait. wait. If the FBI is offering a reward, they're saying just post it on social media? Hmm. The email to Chief Banks. Chief, it has come to our attention that Bigfoot has been seen in Round Rock. We are very concerned and plan to nominate him to the FBI Top 10. Please see the attached wanted poster. Any help your department needs in finding Bigfoot, we will assist. Signed, Christopher Combe, special agent in charge. Seems really kind of simplistic for a top 10 fugitive to have a very meager one paragraph email to a police chief that didn't request the Bureau's assistance in the first place. One thing I don't want to do, and I want to make this very clear, is that there have been Bigfoot sightings in the county, and uh, I'm not taking away from those. Uh, They probably did occur, and there is Bigfoot activity in that county, likely. Notwithstanding, it also means that certain communities can take advantage of that for tourism purposes and for purposes of self-promotion. So a scrub of the web came up with this Coast to Coast article, which said, Basically the following, a cursory examination of a story quickly revealed that it was really just the start of a campaign organized by the city to entice residents into using the parks this summer to look for Bigfoot. Nonetheless, the ruse continued late last week when the city posted to their official website that the FBI had reached out to their chief of police to offer assistance in nabbing Bigfoot. In an email shared by the city, an FBI special agent tells the chief that the bureau is very concerned with the Bigfoot reports and that they are nominating the creature for their top 10 most wanted. The rather clever announcement included a wanted poster for Bigfoot that accuses the creature of numerous nefarious deeds and promises a whopping $500,000 for information leading directly to the capture of the creature. Actually, it said to the arrest of the individual. While one must applaud the ingenuity of whatever parks, whichever parks department employee came up with the FBI angle to the story, it appears that the city might be having second thoughts about the latest twist to the campaign. Sometimes after the news of the FBI involvement had been posted to the city's website on Friday, the page containing the information was removed, leaving only the message that page cannot be found. So that being said... Is it really a prank or is it something that's real? Let's take a look. First, let's look at the amount of the reward, which seems quite exorbitant at $500,000 for an FBI reward. First of all, it wasn't until May of this year that the top 10 fugitive list rewards were upped to 250,000, up from 100,000. So it's very unlikely that a reward of 500,000 would be offered for a Bigfoot. Okay, folks, let's take a look, starting with the poster first. And although it looks like it could be an authentic FBI poster, let's take a real close look here. First of all, it seems to be written in the same font as the authentic FBI posters, which were taken off of FBI.gov. But the font size seems to be a bit off. The other thing that's really crucial here is that the iconic FBI logo is missing. And as we know, the FBI puts their logo on all their official dispatches. The other thing is the format seems to be a little bit off, like the reward is at the bottom, whereas on the FBI posters, generally the reward is right under the description of the individual. Also, the boxes for the description are kind of a different format as well. 
but most convincing and, and to me that this is not an authentic post is the fact that there is no field office listed in all the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitive posters. They have the list of where the field office it came out of is, and it's not on this one. Coincidence? An authentic poster would say field office San Antonio, but in this case, it does not. Finally, the email. That is the kicker right there. Number one, it's very simplistic for an FBI email to a chief of police to offer assistance. The other thing is, is that the special agent in charge spelled his name wrong. His name isn't Christopher Colm, as it's signed on the email, but rather it's like that rapper guy. It's Christopher Combs with an S. So to me, it's tantamount. That email is bogus. The poster is bogus. Let's sum up. So what this appears to be is just a public relations stunt by the Parks and Recreations Department, and they just happen to use the FBI name. And, of course, when you use the FBI name, it kind of goes viral a little bit. And it did locally in Texas. It didn't hit the national news, but I saw it hit as far north as Ohio. So very interesting indeed, but we know that this reward was not real um, and I doubt anybody would ever cough up $500,000 from the FBI if you brought a Bigfoot in. Uh, notwithstanding there are sightings in the county and they do seem legitimate so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that county for Bigfoot sightings and as always keep on squatching. 